What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Season 4 Swizzenberg. And we are jumping into Breaking Bad. We are on to the next season, season four, two more seasons to go. And this show has been amazing from the start. It's fully immersed in it. Well, the finale we ended off with Jesse standing in front of Gail and us hearing the gunshot go off. So this first episode should definitely have a lot of information for us going forward within the series. What possibly, you know, happened that night. So make sure you guys Head over to our Patreon, click that link in the description. We're gonna be a season ahead by the time you guys get this. So if you wanna jump on to that last season, you can do so by jumping over to our Patreon and subbing up. But without further ado, let's start season four of Breaking Bad. Let's get it. Well, uh, oh, nice flashback. How's it coming? Uh, very, very well. It's really coming together. And I, I would like to point out that if you have any very understandable questions about the price tag, that sound, quality. Good. I want you to have what you need. When do you think we'll be up and running? Within a month, I'd say. Two weeks. That sample you asked me to run, I ran it, and it is quite good. Is that our competition? I'm sorry? It really is quite good. The purity, of course, I'm speaking of. If that is our competition, we have our work cut out for us, so to speak. How pure can pure be? Well, it can be pretty darn pure. I can guarantee you a purity of 96%. However, this other product is 99. Holy shit. 99? That last 3%. It may not sound like a lot, but it is. Gail, for our purposes, 96% will do just fine. I I'd love to know who synthesized it, is all. A man who wants to work with me. A trained chemist, like yourself. But it won't happen. I don't consider him a professional. If he's not, I don't know what that makes me. His is the best I've ever seen. Hands down. He talked Walt into, I mean, Gus into taking him on. I know that you want the best. That's real right there, though. He said that boy Walt the best in the streets. He said he the best to ever touch the streets. Oh, yeah. He shot that in. 63531 Taboa, apartment 6. Guilty. What is he talking about, y'all? I don't think they saw anybody. It was just this one loud, this, this very loud pop, and that was all. No arguing or like that. You know him? We all heard this shot. Hey, I don't think you ought to go in there. Mister. Oh, boy, did it. Ooh, it shot him through Mister, the you eye. To me? I'm playing with Jesse, yo. Fuck about talking about. You know, choice but to kill that boy. Little bastard. He ain't leave. Drive. Jesse is losing me for that. Bro, you gotta shoot that man that's had a car already oh. running. He bugging out. How they all did. That's his first, like, actual, like, killing, though. Boy, he ran up on point blank. He shot him through the eye, though. and shot him. Didn't even know him. The boy Mike look crazy. Jesse losing me for not leaving. I would have been a fucking PA in 15 minutes. Mike told him a couple uh, episodes ago, too, that they had a good thing going. Fuck it up. Yo, stop touching me, yo. He's gone. Look at me. Gone. Splattered all over. Oh, Jesus. Walt acting like he's surprised. That's just gonna make a crime scene, though. They draw. All right, you do a sweep? I couldn't. People there. People? He get himself seen by these people? What about you? Yeah. So what? Just another looky loo. Mike gonna kill him? He mm -hmm. might have to. Yeah. He walked into the crime scene. I guess I better get this over with. Eisen.
boy Ted Beneke. Oh, jeez, I, I, I woke you up. I woke you up. No, 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 it's okay. I needed to get up anyway. Only time to run errands. I just uh, needed to... No money. Sorry. God okay. damn. Yeah, they seem to be getting bigger instead of smaller. Not really sure what that's all about. I'm probably hitting like 50 grand. Tell me if this is getting to be too much for you guys. Absolutely not. Bro, stop saying that, bro. Boy, you're gonna go bankrupt. Does this mean what I think it means? <laughs> you and Walt? His car's parked in the driveway. It's not a state secret. Oh, shit. I think that it's great. That's all. All right. Oh, hey. A big uh, howdy do to Mr. I'm Not Here. Where is he, though? Bro, that shit, she gave her five Jones, bro. That shit probably like 200,000. That's the boy Flynn in there, grabbing. You know, if Walt Jr. come outside, he can like, buy his dad's car here. This is when you have 330 days of sunshine a year. About to hide his car? And second street. That was the left street. So be on the lookout. They're going to say something about Gail. She did that in case Ted come. I don't think she did that just in case Ted come. I think she just did that so Walt Jr. didn't see. He was, out. He was coming right out. He's like, where, where's that? Oh, hey. They've been in there all night. So, I make it 10 to 9, which means... Shut up. We need to start a cook in the next 10 minutes to keep to our schedule. Gus's schedule. As angry as he may be, I don't believe he's willing to forfeit an entire batch. That just might make him angrier. Gotta let him do it. Isn't that what this whole thing is about? Bro, you do not know what you're doing. He has been watching him now. And that's probably why. He killed the wrong motherfucker. Buzzer don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he don't. Writing down notes and, do, and actually doing it is two different things. Watch me. We ain't missing no cook. We're closed. I'm mean, there pulling on the door and shit like that, yo. Yeah? Saul, Skylar White calling. Checking for bugs. Because Mike was in there. Saul. Hey. Skylar White. What the hell does she want? That boy going crazy. I, he, he's nowhere to be found. I called his condo. I called every number I have for him. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Walt's a big boy. He'll call him turn up. Mr. Goodman, clearly something is going on here. I mean, why would he leave and his he car in my something driveway? Over his hand. And that's probably reminded her of what he did last time with his quote unquote fugue state. He carpools to his job at a meth lab. Hey, oh, 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 you're breaking up there. I didn't quite catch that last. Whew. Hey, bro, she's a nut. Walter is fine, okay? I guarantee that 100%. Don't say 100%, ever. I don't think he had security before either. My boy just hired him. Since Mike came and talked Ted to Benigny. him. She's going to be a daughter career. in the world? Nah, this is Walt's. Yeah, that's what, uh, Walt's kind of. Yeah. Uh, Albuquerque. I'm in, uh, Knob Hill. I need the number for a locksmith. I don't know. Ollie, like, what is going on? Are you sure there's nothing? No, it's not even me. It's state law, really. A car registration. That would have you head. No, but I can't even get in my car. My car kings were on the same ring. Ollie, like, she lying. She lying. I'm sorry, really. But without, uh, proof of residency, I can take it down to my shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Vacation, I, it's gone. Oh, oh God. Not now. He's like, oh, shoot. I gotta open this damn door. Oh, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Truly. He just broke the law. Sir, again, thank you so much. Really? Yeah. So I get out of here, broke the law.
My boy probably stayed a total of three nights in there. Okay. What is she looking for? Right. Let's see my guy Hank. I gotta show us how much that bill is. That's a lot on Marie too. Like you gotta emotionally prepare every time you go in that room. That boy Hank, he be on edge. We got his crystals around. He buying all that stuff. What is he building on crystals for? I'm really liking this new therapist. He keeps me in the loop, always has time for a phone call. I heard you broke new ground today. I broke new ground? That's what he said. I walked 16 feet in 20 minutes, and I had maybe this much less shit in my pants. So yeah, Marie, if you and him and everybody else in America secretly took a vote, and, but yeah, I guess I broke new ground. You ordering a new rock? I'm bidding on a new mineral. I need the thing. Numero uno? Dos. Oh boy, look. Sick. You got shit. That put him in such a vulnerable spot, man. Marie, get the hell out the room. We probably would have been better off in the hospital. He about to fuck up that batch. Don't let my mans do it. Should be wearing masks. That good old Gale coffee, boy. Then he forgets the aluminum. One of the first steps in... Oh, shit! Boy, like a demon. Jesse got to do it right now. Cause he wanted to kill Jesse anyway. That boy turned a walk when that boy Gus come around. <laughs> that boy eyes to turn a walk when that boy Gus come around. Oh God. And that's the game you play. Ain't no rules in this Gus, you know that. I feel like we about to see him tweak for the first time. All right, let's talk about Gail Benneker. He was a good man and a good chemist and I cared about him. You didn't deserve what happened to him. You got Jesse from that type of word, bro. I'd shoot him again tomorrow. And the next day. And the day after that. The boy taking off all his clothes to get dirty. He put on that suit. He ain't trying to fuck his good clothes up. This is on you, Gus. Not me. Not Jesse. Gail's death is on you. The boy talking crazy. Yeah, now nah, I'm gonna spank you. What did you expect me to do? Just simply roll over? and allow you to murder us? That I wouldn't take measures, extreme measures, to defend myself. Wrong! Think again. Bro, Jesse don't even care anymore. Let me suggest that you keep one thing in mind. Us without he Jesse. He knows how to cook. Myself. You have no one to make your product. Certainly not him. Ah. Been watching him for weeks. Know every step to his cook. Oh! <laughs> Do you really? You... Everything comes down to following a recipe. Simple, complicated, it doesn't matter. Steps never change. You're not flipping hamburgers here, pal. And what happens in summer when 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 the humidity rises? You try anything to stay alive. All you'll have left is an eight million dollar hole in the ground. This lab. You about the cup boy next to him. Yeah, he's not gonna kill them. Cause they seen him. You have no income. Your people up there will not be paid. Because they Your seen him at the crime scene. Collapses. Yeah. Without us, you have nothing. Well, and I still got Los Polos. You kill me, you have nothing. You kill Jesse, you don't have me. He's standing by Jesse, though. Oh, he's That's sad. tough. Yeah, he gonna kill Ball. Oh, no. You won't do this. He got to. They seen can't him. can't afford to do this. Because Mike looked at him crazy whenever he said he saw him. He was like, he was like, so what? He was like, let me get this over with. Oh. He's smiling and shit, dummy. Oh my God. That bit deep as shit. That's why he's pissed. Cause he know he had to do that because of that. And that was his man's. 
Jesse, lucky they ain't seen him. He would've been just like that. No, that boy Jesse a different person now. That boy not scared of Gus no more. Oh! But that is a result of fucking Walt in them. Yeah. Walt dead, but... That boy crazy. He ain't said a word since he came in. No, he's a different human. Nah, you gotta think though. He's doing that to people that have been around him for probably years, bro. Well? Get back to work. Probably ran to the cook. Probably ran to the lab. Throw this shit up. That was the only thing that the guy didn't have over him was that he got seen. If he wouldn't have got seen, Jesse and Walt would have been finished. Well, Mike got to go to work too now. That boy Mike be doing all this by himself. He's crazy. Feet first. He's too big for that. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Oh, shit. Hey, damn, there got him in there, though. Let's see, I fucking fall, man. They're gonna have to put acid to decompose the body. That's what they did to the one boy. They put the fuck. <laughs> he put it in the tub and it. <laughs> Yo, Jesse, funny as shit for that. I never use this stuff. Are you sure it'll do the job? Trust us. Yeah, this was supposed. This he's supposed to get the tub last time, but he did it in his bathtub. Had a fucking hole in this floor. He has to turn that boy to mush. Yeah. See a skeleton? That's all that's left. That was his head. Diabolical. That change of scenery is crazy. Buzzing went to Denny's. He ain't be able to drink that red stuff. That's syrup. But I can't see. Oh boy, Jesse acting like it's nothing. He he just trying his best to forget it. No, I mean, you know. How are you doing? You did the only thing that you could. I hope you understand that. Well, just stop talking, bro. Any thoughts on what our next move might be? Given the fact that at the first opportunity, Gus will kill us. Well, that wasn't an opportunity just now. It seemed like a pretty damn good opportunity to me. Yeah. Golden, I would say. We bought ourselves some time. It's not gonna find another chemist. Mm. Where is he gonna find another chemist? Somebody being able to run a lab that big. Someone he can trust. Someone he knows will keep their mouth shut. Yeah, well, I just need to let it go, but I feel him at the same time. <sighs> but he's sorry now. <sighs> you sure? At least now we all understand each other. Him and us. We get it. We're all on the same page. That night changed him. The one that says, if I can't kill you, you'll sure as shit wish you were dead. Man, that's a fact, uh, the boy Jessenberg. Fresh drip. <laughs> that fresh drip. Fucking granddad, yo, fuck that. Here she go. She's like, who the hell is this? A red checks on white jeans and a brown shirt on. Um, it's it's parked over in Amston. Junior was about to get up and uh. He would have seen it, so I wanted to avoid a lot of questions. Kenny Rogers. That boy looks stressed. You see that boy looks mad old. Do you have your keys? Yeah. Um, it's parked three blocks down on the right. 
Man, you come like my boy can't like have no food or nothing for my boy. Like, damn, look at this drip. He ain't got no belt on. <laughs> oh, he holding up his pants. Couldn't even hug my boy. My boy just need a hug, man. Look like he gained five years on his life after the. Uh, like, was like, all this uh, worth it at the end of the day? Think about kill. Who was this guy? You're talking about Jesse ain't like that. Jessenberg, stud. Oh my gosh, it's over. They might think he's Heisenberg, though. Oh, that's true. Man. Then they gonna have his formula to make this shit. And they might think he's Heisenberg. That'll be the only thing. When and then that'll get stop them off selling. Their and in a way, that nigga Heisenberg. All right, yeah, that was in the episode one of season four, Breaking Bad, and the season is set. There is gonna be a crackdown, definitely, on Gus's operations. As we've seen, the cops are on the scene, and his and his notebook was left behind with all the lab notes. Hopefully, he didn't write any names down. Yeah, now the authorities have something to go off of the emotional roller coaster that everyone was going through. Jesse was going through his own thing and then Walt going through his and then also Gus going through his with having to deal with his right hand man that he had watching over Walt all this time. I think that's the main reason why he was pissed. He's working under somebody that he knows that wants to get rid of him. But like Jesse said, uh, I don't really think that he's going to be able to find a chemist that's going to be able to do what Walt is doing at the quality that he's doing it doing it at and also with all the perks of him knowing that he can somewhat trust walt the operation is kind of spiraling at the moment i don't really know how we go forward from here and hopefully this season four you know lives up to the hype it was a lot going on this episode from let's find out he actually killed gail i think his name is victor once he walked into the crime scene and then that whole scene with mike happened he said he was anybody see you and then he was like yeah so what like the face that mike made it, it was a kind of face or like an emotion that he would have killed him right then and there because he already knew what was going to happen because of um him being seen by the uh, people that were there and the witnesses so he was basically running there on a last minute whim hoping that he could save gail and then him running into the room that just I mean, cost to him his life um, in that scenario, but sucks for like in Gus's perspective as running a business because everything was running so smoothly until that whole like Walt came along and we got to see in the beginning of this episode that he didn't even want to take Walt on. We already knew that, but then seeing that Gail was the one who kind of pushed him in that direction and then Jesse being the one to kill him because Gail was supposed to replace Jesse. And then Jesse ends up being the one to kill Gail. Walt was saying like any day, any situation like this, it would be the same result if it's us or him. Um, which you could, you gotta respect at the end of the day because like Walt has a family. Him and Jesse have been working with each other for a while. Um, he trusts Jesse through all the stuff that Jesse has done, and Jesse trusts him through all the things he's done that Jesse doesn't even know about. You know what I mean? So it was good to see in that situation when Gus was walking around with the box cutter that that walks basically still d defended jesse in that situation saying that is him and jesse versus gail and him and jesse versus the basically gus and mike too you know what i mean so um, i agree with walt with him saying that they need to kind of figure out their next move um just in case you know what i mean because in a situation like that so much has changed from just like the last three episodes we watched from him trying to find Jesse to Jesse basically being like a fugitive to them um, and basically going on hideout, them bringing Saul into the whole situation, them killing the uh, two guys that work in the block that killed Combo um, to this episode now where they killed Gail. So um, Gus's operation, everything previous year has probably been solidified. They've been good. They've been making their money. And then like now these last three episodes, everything's kind of gone to shit and from his perspective they literally just he literally just had walt come to the crib too you know what i mean like sit down and eat they just came up with that plan that they were going to work for each other for 12 months and then all this stuff just rapidly happens but i'm um, excited to see where this takes us man season four people have been saying it's the best season or the, this is season five uh we're the best season so excited to see where it takes us but if you enjoyed your reaction make sure you like the video comment down below let us know your thoughts on it 
hit the subscribe button to be all kinds of notified when we drop these videos. We appreciate y'all. For y'all on the YouTube side, we're gonna be watching two Breaking Bad episodes a week. So we'll be halfway through season five by the time you guys get this episode. So um, if you want to go ahead and jump basically a season and a half ahead, a season of four or five episodes ahead, go ahead and check out the Patreon. We appreciate y'all on the YouTube side. But until the next video, the kids react.